what is going on sheep army this your boy random marks coming with a quick video and on this video guys we're going to be talking about bone shiba swap token and we're going to also be taking a look guys at solana and seeing how we could draw some comparison to bone so before i dive too deeply into it do me a huge favor and hit that like button hit that subscribe button definitely love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinion about bone shiba swap token now, guys, I want to just take a minute and just congrat to give congrats to anyone who purchased uh, the Shiba Rock uh, NFT collection that I dropped. Um, was it probably was like uh, the end of last month. So currently, right now, the floor price of the Shiba Rock NFT is up three hundred and sixteen percent from the mint price. Mint price was one hundred fifty bone current floor price of it right now is 625 bone guys and it's almost like like i was mentioning before this was very predictable due to the fact like i always mentioned like other chains how other chains perform with the same type of asset typically is gonna you know replicate onto a new chain so the rocks on ethereum they're selling for millions of dollars uh, you have uh, Bitcoin rocks that's selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars. So having a Shibarium rock or Shiba rock onto Shibarium was really a no-brainer. And I knew that this was going to end eventually end up selling for, um, you know, a couple of thousands of dollars. So as it currently stands right now, it is starting to pick up. So once more and more people, again, we still have not seen that big flood of Russia people start to come into Shibarium. Once they do... There's going to be an NFT mania and Shiba Rocks is going to be one of those familiar faces that they've seen on other chain and they're going to flock to this. So, again, big congrats to everyone that uh, got it. I'm still holding on to mines. I only got two, uh, believe it or not. I only got two. And the biggest well uh, on Shiba Rock owns 49 rocks, guys, which is insane. Um, at current price right now, his 49 rocks um is worth about 40 something thousand uh no i'm sorry 30 uh 30 thousand so crazy 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 so to get right into it guys so taking a quick look again at bone bone is sitting at 72 cents we've been seeing some movements um when it comes to uh swapping for bone to be able to get sheep in the last five hours so it does have an impact on bone but people most people think it's just like the swapping in itself the swapping is not what you know makes the price go down if something has a lot of liquidity you could swap a million times and it wouldn't even have an impact the problem is again is liquidity so someone wanted to make a video about it so i so happy was going to make a video about solana so i tied this into it as well so if we take a look at just the volume on bone guys 7.8 million dollars um and compared to big name assets or even regular till at regular tiered assets 7.8 million dollars is really not that much so what bone needs at this point in time is more liquidity and typically by having more liquidity equals more exchanges so currently right now we're getting you know the exchange numbers are going up we're currently at 39 for a while we'll stuck right around like 35 so just this month alone we saw maybe about three new listings so the more and more capital that we have spread around the different exchanges the less impact it's going to have on prices when we start seeing bigger uh well when whales start to sell as well as um you know sell pressure so that way we're not constantly seeing that huge volatility on bone. I know some people are tired of it, um, but unfortunately, until we get to the place where we start getting more and more listings, this is the reality of bone. So if we take a look as far as holder counts, we're currently at 95,000. Now, one thing that I want you guys to hear me clearly and hear me loudly is just because we reach 100,000, does not mean that Binance is going to automatically list us. So I don't want you guys having that false expectation um, of as far as getting a Binance listing as soon as we reach 100K. That may not happen. You know, just I know their requirement as far as for them listing an asset is 100K. But at the end of the day, they do not have to list us. Um, should they? I believe they should. But will they? That's a whole different question. 
You know, I don't know what the team over there is thinking or how they're processing information, but to me, it seemed like Bone would be that the easiest home run ever. Um, so if we take a quick look at Solana, guys, I made a comparison video as far as with Bone and Solana, and a big part of it when I was making those videos was saying, like, volume is king. The reason why Solana reached all the way up here was due to the fact of its volume. And I even got some historical data just from the past four months just to be able to prove to you guys that if any assets start to see huge volume, it's going to automatically go up just simple supply and demand. So if we take a look at just the historical um, piece on uh, Solana, just volume today so far is at three, you know, going on four billion. Had 5 billion the day before, 4.9, 3.8, 1.9. So all, you know, if we look at all of this and these are the dates, if we just keep scrolling down, you're going to notice when was the time that um, Solana had like volume under a billion consistently. And that date was actually October 20th. So from October 20th all the way down, guys, volume on it was under a billion dollars so you need volume to be able to sustain like big price move and if we just compare that on the chart guys look at what date you know and this is how you you know you know you can't really make this up so it really started having its up move right around october after october 20th and that is not a coincidence. That's the day that it started having over a billion dollars. So a part of it is, okay, you know, volume. And this is why I say cumulative volume um, makes layer ones and layer twos um, asset just go up over time. So if we don't see like big pushes on bone as far as like getting even past like 20 million or 30 million, um, over time with the accumulation of all these different six, uh, six million, eight million, ten million a day volume is going to start to add up and it's going to increase the floor price of bone um, as far as like where the asset in itself is going to bottom out. Then it's going to eventually start to creep up. Um, and that's what you typically see with a lot of these uh, tokens and a lot of these coins. So as volume continue to accumulate. Again, it's going to start to inch up, inch up. That could take, uh, you know, I could take five, six, seven, eight, nine months. And I'm talking about if nothing changed as far as with no new exchanges, what, where we're currently at right now. But I suspect we're going to see like uh, exchanges coming because uh, I remember Shaitoshi's uh, one of his blog posts or the magazine posts, they were talking about like uh, new exchanges. So, really, guys. At this, you know, at this juncture um, and stage of bone, the only thing that I'm worrying about is accumulating as much as I can because when it happened, it's just going to happen overnight. Because, again, nobody didn't expect Solana, guys, to all of a sudden just boom, $1 billion in volume. And ever since then, it just started just, you know, pretty much constantly just been above a billion in volume. So once big volume starts coming in into bone, then we're going to be able to see those big parabolic move and being able to see hundreds of dollars uh, worth of bone. And it's coming. It's coming. It's 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 just a matter. It, it just not not if it's just when is it going to come? That's the big thing. But let me know, guys, in the comment down below your thoughts, your opinion about all this. Random Mark signing off. Peace.